Hey there, have you considered driving for Amazon Flex? Well, stick around and I'll share my first day with you. Hi there, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies. And today, that includes Amazon Flex. I'm here right now outside of Whole Foods Market and I'm going to get online here in just a minute and set myself as available and see what kind of instant offers that I get for doing the grocery deliveries from Whole Foods. Oh, and by the way, if you're new, please consider subscribing. That way you'll know when I come out with updates and you can check them out. All right, let's get busy. I'm going to go ahead and set myself as available and let's hope that we get an order. I'm available now. What? Identity check. Oh, all right. Well, I guess let's take a photo. Looks like they're asking uh, safety. Is my temperature okay? Of course. Oh, interesting. So it says to get offers, instant ones, come back during busy times. Well, what if I want to just be busy right now? Oh, nice. All right, so I guess I did say available now. I don't know how I did that. Interesting. All right, well, I'm available now, so let's see what comes up. So it allowed me to change it. All right, so let's get on here and say we're available now. Well, I don't know what I did or didn't do right. Um, it did show as available, so I'll try again later. I've turned Uber Eats and Grubhub on, and might as well do Instacart as well. And hopefully we'll get an order here for Amazon Flex. I did also go in the settings and change it uh, for Amazon for the local area. And we'll see how it turns out. Oh, and by the way, um, this is Southern California. So I don't know if you've noticed there is this liquid coming down from the sky. And most people call it rain. So we're not used to that. It's always nice and sunny here. So I'm going to have to be careful driving. Put it over. Thank you. It's 10.05 right now, so about 15, 20 minutes went by. I did drop off a Starbucks order, and I'm going to head back now to Whole Foods and hopefully be able to click the available now so that I can see if I can get any orders. On my way to do the Starbucks, I did get an offer for Instacart. It was $37, 4.4 miles, two batches. I wanted to take it, but uh, we'll see how it works out with Amazon. Hopefully, it'll give me any order. I don't care what it is. I just want to try it and share my experiences on the first day. It is starting to rain a little bit more, and of course, I do have some jackets um, to be able to protect myself. Even though it's always sunny California, we still wear jackets, so... The rain's not going to stop me. Let's get that money. I figured it out, and I'm very glad. I drove by Whole Foods Parked, and I realized that I had, did not say that I took my temperature, and that's what was preventing me from being available now. So, you know, obviously, I guess I'm really nervous about my first day doing the uh, Amazon Flex orders, and just couldn't, it was just too hard to figure out how to, how to make the availability open. So I'm ready now. And I also have Uber Eats on, Grubhub, as well as Instacart. And I do see that there are orders coming in on Instacart. So hopefully Whole Foods is going to come through here right now um, or whatever comes first. You know, I broke away to do a Starbucks order and I'll do it again if, uh, if it means getting some money versus none. All right. And just like that, 
I marked myself unavailable. I did get an Instacart order from Best Buy for four items. This will be neat. I haven't done one of these. It looked like just some cables. Awesome. Have a great day. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, I have good news. It's still raining outside and I can feel the wind blowing, so I'm going to have to be careful the rest of the day. I did drop off the order to the gentleman from Instacart, uh, the Best Buy, and I could hear him hacking and coughing as he came to the door, and, and so I held my breath, and he quickly said that he said to leave it at the door, which isn't true. It just said the phone is out message. Anyway, I got out of there pretty quick because I didn't want to stick around. I also now picked up another Instacart order um, nearby. There's two orders. It was like $37. 20 something items in four miles. So I'm taking that and then I'll get back on the road and uh, I'll mark myself as available for Amazon. So let's hope something comes up after this order. All right, bye. Welcome back everybody. I just dropped off those two Instacart batches. It is still raining so maybe the title of this video should be Food Delivery in the Rain. Anyway, I've gotten back on Amazon. I'll be on Uber Eats and I'm going to activate Grubhub and Instacart. I'll start heading back towards the Whole Foods Market in the hopes of getting the Amazon delivery. That sure would be nice even in the rain. And I think I'm going to put my jacket on from now because the rain is coming down pretty steadily and it's better to be dry. All right, see you in a little bit. Oh, hi, how's it going? Yep. Awesome. Have a good start to your week. Thank you. says lots of customers are hungry. It's still raining out quite a bit. I've uh, gone with the old traditional and now I've put Uber Eats back on and I'm gonna put on Instacart. Really Instacart would be smart to do because it's indoors as long as it's high paying and that's not a high paying order, $14. So let's get on Amazon and hopefully, oh, nothing yet. I'm pretty sure I have to be near the Whole Foods or one of their uh, warehouses. All right, let's get down the road and get some money. And uh, so far, drivers have been generally okay around here. It is wet. Oh, here's an offer. What is this?
Welcome back. It's still raining. I just dropped off an order, no contact, and it would look like a long-term health care facility. So I left it out of the rain, but on the table where they have some sanitizing wipes. And I'm off to do a Wendy's order now for Grubhub. So let's get going. How's it going? It was taking so long. Um, I'm pretty sure that Grubhub makes the orders uh, once the driver shows up, or in this case, when the gentleman at the register saw it in the system and then printed the ticket. Anyway, I got my own food, and I'm going to go ahead and deliver this to Chain and then eat my own food. All right, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Ross. Got the drop up for awesome. Awesome. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Ah, oh, come on. I'm Russ Breeds. Careful, they're uh, heavy. Oops, it's been struck. And there's two bags. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Hey, wouldn't you know it? The skies are almost clear. It finished raining today, but most of the day I was out there in the rain and wearing a, a nice jacket with a hood over it to keep the water off of me. And I didn't plan on this video turning into a rain along, but that's actually what it was. I tried to do the Amazon Flex, and I'll save that for another video when I can get on there. And obviously, you know, if you have technical trouble just trying to push a button and not realize that you have to answer the questionnaire if you've checked your temperature, then I probably don't deserve to be on Amazon Flex. All right, just kidding. I will remember that for next time and not get sidelined so easily. I started off right around 8.30 and combined with Uber Eats and Grubhub, I had a total of 11 orders. And then for Instacart, I had two separate orders. One was a batch by itself, that one from Best Buy. And then the other two uh, were from a store called Pavilions. 
and both of those tipped really well. So total, I did 14 orders. I worked a total of seven hours and I made $155 total, which is great. That works out to be $22 an hour before expenses and I drove a total of 80 miles. So that's close enough to almost $2 a mile. That's extremely rare for me. I am usually closer to a dollar per mile. And that's just in my market. So I think when it rains, people do tend to tip more because they feel sorry for you. And also I think it can be a little bit busier if people all of a sudden decide they're not gonna go outside. And I know that was kind of the same for rideshare as well. What kind of inclement weather do you drive in? Ice, snow, high winds? How does that affect you when you're out delivering food? Because I know for me personally, it's so nice and sunny here all the time. You can just wear shorts, a shirt, pants. You don't even have to think. You just kind of go outside and go to the restaurants and deliver the food and, and take home that money. So weather really isn't a consideration for me. All right, so until I see you in my next video, stay safe, have fun making some money while you're delivering food, and maybe you can brighten someone else's day by being extra friendly and nice as you're connecting with your customers. All right, take care, and I'll see ya. Bye.